This video demonstrates the endocycloplasty technique after viscoelastic has been injected uh, after the IOL has been implanted uh, at the time of cataract surgery. The endoscope, which consists of a camera as we see here, a light source, and a diode laser is used to ablate the posterior tail of these processes. Note how large and how long these processes are. This is what's creating the plateau effect in this patient here that's causing uh, the predominant mechanism of angle closure in this individual. And by, sim by simply placing the laser uh, aiming beam on the posterior aspect of these processes, we can shrink them back. The idea here is more of a mechanical effect that we're trying to achieve here. Rather than removing uh, the secreting part of the ciliary processes, the uh, epithelium, the idea here is to more mechanically uh, posteriorize uh, these processes. It's important to start the ablation at the posterior tail. If one were to start more anteriorly, then the process actually will move more anterior and shrink forward, not backwards. The idea here, though, is we want to remove um, the posterior pushing mechanism, so to speak, on the peripheral iris by moving these processes back. And we can look here and we can see these processes are moving back uh, almost a millimeter in terms of height uh, in some of these locales here, uh, which will certainly enhance the uh, angle opening once the peripheral iris sits more posterior. We typically do about 180 degrees or so to ensure we have at least 180 degrees open. Typically nasal processes are lasered here, supranasal and infranasal as we use a clear cornea temporal approach.